I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an application question on quadratic functions. The question here is, Ritu wants to build a parabolic bridge over a stream in her backyard. The bridge must span a width of 200 centimeters. It must be at least 51 centimeter high where it is 30 centimeter from the bank of each side. How high will her bridge be? Let us first sketch the scenario, right? So let us say along the x-axis, we will take the width, right? So we'll take width along the x-axis and height along the y-axis. Units are in centimeters. So write height in terms of centimeters here and width in terms of centimeter along the x-axis. Now, when we are talking about a bridge, it is a parabolic path. So let's make one. Let's say this is the bridge. Okay. When we say that the bridge must span 200 centimeters, it means from here to end, it is 200 centimeters. Perfect. Another condition given to us is, it must be at least 51 centimeter high where it is 30 centimeter from the bank on each side. That really means that uh, from the symmetry, we can say this is kind of 100, right? So 50, so somewhere here, we're talking about a height of 30 centimeters. So say it must be 51 centimeter, 51 centimeter and the distance is 30. So that is a point which we are given on this parabola. What do we need to find? How high will her bridge be? So the maximum height is going to be at width of 100, which is right in the center, right? Because that is the axis of symmetry. Perfect. So I've, I hope you've understood the situation. Now, model this situation and write down your equation. Well, it should be y equals to a times x since that is the first zero x minus zero also you can write times x minus 200 the second zero right so these two zeros x minus zero times x minus 200 to find the value of a we could use this point where 30 is along the x-axis so we'll write in this equation 30 for the distance along the x-axis. Well, since I wrote in this equation, let me rewrite in terms of height and width, okay? So I could write this as height equals to a times x is in terms of width. So let me write this as width and w minus 200, correct? So we are writing h in terms of width, right? If I substitute width as 30, that is to say the point will be 30 and 51, height is 51. So we get 51 equals to A times 30 times 30 minus 200. You can rearrange and solve this. So what do you get the value of A? A is 51 divided by 30 times, if you do 30 minus 200, you get minus 170, correct? You get minus 170. Now you could simplify this. You can always use your calculator to do the math or let's do it. Uh, 30 is 10 times and if you do 3 times 51, 3 times 1 is 3, 21 is 7, right? So you'll see 7 and 17 also goes minus 10 times. So what do you get here is A equals to minus 1 over 100. The beauty of this is very good values. You see A you get minus 1 over 100. So now I can write height of this bridge as a function of width W as minus 1 over 100 times width times width minus 200. So that becomes the function. The question is how high will the bridge be? Maximum height will be when? Well, we can write maximum height 
is when width is equals to 100 because that is the axis of symmetry. Substituting this value, we get height equals to minus 1 over 100 times 100 times 100 minus 200, right? And without calculator, you can actually solve this question. And that minus minus becomes positive and we get height as 100. So we can now write down the answer that maximum height is 100 centimeters. It is very important to include units in your answer. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to like my videos, subscribe to them and share them with your friends. Thank you and all the best.